Hi, my name is Ray. Me and my friends Dodie, Mimi, and Faffles, we love to come to this wonderful library. Over there, on that great book is Grand Old Holy. She's really old and wise, and tells us wonderful stories when she's awake. That is. Oh, and we love to sing and dance. Sing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, make our spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleigh song tonight. Your Christmas tree looks so pretty. I love the little lights on it. They are shining so brightly. Children, do you know the story of how the fir became the Christmas tree? No. Oh, do tell us the story, Holly. Okay. So, this is the story of how the fir tree became the Christmas tree. When the Christ child was born. The whole world was happy. All the people, the animals, and the trees and plants. The child was born to bring peace and happiness to the whole world. Lots of people came every single day to see the little one, and they always brought gifts with them. Now there were three trees standing near the crypt where the baby lay, and they wished that they too could give presents to the Christ child. The palm said, "I will choose my most beautiful leaf and place it as a fan over the child." And I, said the olive, "will sprinkle sweet-smelling oil upon his head." What can I give to the child? Asked the fir, who stood near. "You," you cried the others. "You, you have, have nothing to offer, offer him." Your needles would prick him, and your tears are sticky. So the poor little fir tree was very unhappy, and it said, "Yes, you are right. I have nothing to offer the Christ child." Now, quite near the trees stood the Christmas angel, who had heard all that the trees had said. The angel felt sorry for the fir tree, so. When it was dark and the stars came out, he asked a few of the little stars to come down and rest upon the branches of the fir tree. They did as the Christmas angel asked, and the fir tree shone with a beautiful light. And at that very moment, the Christ child opened his eyes, for he had been asleep, and as he saw the lovely light, he smiled. So, every year. People keep the dear Christ child's birthday by giving gifts to each other in remembrance of his first birthday. The Christmas angel places in every house a fir tree, covered with starry candles. It shines for the children as the stars shone for the Christ child. The fir tree was rewarded for its meekness, for no other tree makes people so happy. That is the story of the first Christmas tree. Awesome! So being meek makes sense. Yes, it does. As the Bible says, "Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth." That's all for today. Bye, bye, kids. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night. In a stable, here 
Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.